Let us see how we can set up and validate Node.js. In this case, I'll be demonstrating using Windows. However, if you're using Mac or Linux based desktop, the steps are almost same. We can open the browser and then go to this node.js.org and here you can see the download for Windows. There are two versions available here. One is 10.15.1 and second one is 11.9.0. Instead of using 11.9.0, I'll be setting up 10.15.1 because it is under LTS. So I'm clicking on this. It is downloading something called MSI. MSI stands for Microsoft Installer. Once it is downloaded completely, we can double click on this and we should be able to install on this Windows machine. Now it is downloaded. I'm double clicking on this. If it did not start installing, we can expand this and then click on show in folder. However, the installation is started by itself. So we don't need to go to that folder and start installing. We can just click on next here, then accept the terms. Click on next, 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 install. Say yes here, then it will take care of installing Node.js on Windows. If it is Mac, when you go to nodejs.org, it will directly take you to the downloadables with respect to Mac. Same is the case with Linux. We just have to follow similar steps on those platforms to install Node.js either on Mac or on Linux. That being said, Node.js is now installed. We can click on finish. To ensure that Node.js is installed, we can open the command prompt like this and then we can say node and hit enter. You should get this interface and to validate, we can actually say console.log hello world. So node provides you JavaScript interpreter. You can actually write JavaScript code and you should be able to see the results for the code written using JavaScript syntax. In this case, you can see that console.log actually printed hello world on the screen. You can exit from this by saying dot exit. And this is how you can actually set up node on Windows and validate to ensure that it is installed properly. If you are using Mac or uh, Linux, you have to open the terminal. It will look like this. Typically, we can uh, install Node on Mac either by going to the website or we can also use brew install to install Node on the Mac. Once it is installed, we can open the terminal like this and then we can say Node and we can actually develop the code saying console.log hello world and hit enter to see the output. This is how you should be able to set up the environment and validate. Also, when we set up Node, we get a tool called NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager. It should be set up by itself. When we set up Node, we don't need to perform any additional steps to have this NPM. We will see NPM in detail as we proceed further. But whenever we want to add a plugin to Node so that we can use it as part of our application, we can use NPM install to add that plugin to our project. And then we should be able to take it from there.